Hello. So I was trying to think more about what really happened to the goth community on YouTube. I know I just made my video saying, you know, I stopped making videos, I don't know why, yada yada, but I've noticed that a lot of other people also either stopped completely making videos or they've slowed down or they've kind of changed paths. I'm trying to figure out why this might be. And I was thinking about how I have some friends who are part of like pyramid schemes. You know the you know the drill where you know they they come to your house and try to sell you like Tupperwares or something. But then suddenly every time you talk to that friend it's about them trying to sell you something. And then eventually they they text you, "Hey, what are you doing next tomorrow night?" And you just don't answer because you just figure that you're just gonna be sold some more Tupperware or something. And that's happened to me a couple times where then I just don't wanna I don't wanna answer them. I don't wanna even talk to them anymore. And I think that's kind of what has happened in YouTube. It happened that you could m we became aware that you could make money on YouTube without having millions of followers as long as you had. Loyal followers, supportive followers, who you, you had and you had their attention. So suddenly, as if there wasn't enough of a divide, a barrier between, you know, through the screens, now there was a further separator to make someone a salesperson and a consumer. That's not a community, and that's and I think that has part to do with the failing. How can you build a community around one person or a few people profiting? I don't see how you could have sustainable friendships and relationships online if there's this kind of um, imbalance in the power. If, so, if someone's going to be looked at as like a... Um, a figure, a figure, an icon, and the rest are just uh, an audience and consumers and patrons. So that's one of my theories about what went wrong in goth YouTube.